Hi, this is Zed from Just Saying Asia, and I'm here with Master Mudassar Khan, uh, one of the judges for Dance Singapore Dance. Master Mudassar, welcome to Singapore. Thank you, thank you. Is this your first time in Singapore? Uh, no, this is my third time in Singapore, but yeah, all the three times, only because of DSD. <laughs> only because of DSD? <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, uh, it's a very common question, but how do you find Singapore? How is it different from India? India, yeah. Uh, Singapore is, uh, see, different, yeah, but very good. Mm. Uh, cultural, uh, I can say a lot of modern things with ancient culture. And in Singapore, what we do is like, if you go in India, you'll find India more. India everywhere. Right, right. But when you come to Singapore, you'll find uh, Chinese, you'll find Malay, you find Indonesia, you find many countries in one country. That's right. So I think uh, heart, one heart, different souls. Mm. So that I think. I think like that's India a, is like the heart and soul India. India is like too much. <laughs> <laughs> yes. that, that's a very uh, unique way of putting it. Um, you know, so Master Mudassar has is one of the top choreographers in Bollywood, and he's worked with some of the biggest stars. And you've worked with uh, one of my favorites, Salman Khan. Um, <coughs> and um, you know, uh, almost everybody knows your signature moves, and they uh, are going with it. Um, but how did you start? How did it begin for you? Um, uh, I I don't know. I mean, I was just lost, and someone the, someone told me, uh, "Hey, it's the, the, this is the way," and that somebody was Salman Khan. Okay. So I was just lost. I mean, uh, this was a difficult time of my life when I was uh, fully loaded with a lot of loans and family issues and financial issues, and I was like, like I was like thinking, my life is done. I will just leave this dance, and I'll just go somewhere and work like a labor, and I'll just quit. I mean finish so then I don't know from where some the morning you know the sun came sunrise and the rays come on me and I think that ray sun rays was from Salman and you know I when you say like a, a recommendation of God <laughs> so I was like you know when he got into my and he said okay millions of crowd okay okay you come up like there's a Hardwell DJ playing in the crowd and the millions of people are dreaming, oh my god, or maybe Michael Jackson, oh my god, Michael. And then he points at you, oh you, come up. And then, so I think that, that thing happened. He just saw something in my eyes and he, so he has that thing and he chooses something where he, he, he likes and he chooses. So we were performing in some local mall in Mumbai and he just saw me and I said, you are the choreographer of this dance? I said, yes sir. Okay, okay, okay. So he said, okay, I'll call you. And then... Uh, <laughs> Just like day, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One day, because my group was performing. Okay. So he said, a very good performance, very good dance. So he said, uh, okay, I'll call you. And I said, okay, big stars always say, okay, I'll call you. Right. So you should not say, okay, if you're calling me, take my number. So I said, okay, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Then I said, Salman Khan told me, I'll call you. That's finished. Now nothing I want. But he actually called. And then I was, after a month he called, like 15 days uh, he called. And I was really shocked and surprised. First I thought it's a prank by my students only. <laughs> so I think uh, that changed my life. But earlier I used to teach dance in some school, some dance classes. But then when Salman sir caught me, and I mean right. that time it was another level. And since when did you know that, uh, did you always know that dance was going to be the thing for you? No, no. I was always passionate about dance, not professional. Okay. So I was always, always think, oh, I will be performing on the stage and millions of audience will be seeing, watching me. Not million, 50,000. Not 50,000, 100 people. But I will dance on stage. Okay. Uh, in Mumbai, we say Gali. Mm. Gali like street. Right. So street dance, there's always a street dance competition everywhere in Mumbai. Mm -hmm. So people come and there's a uh, God's festival. Mm -hmm. So people come and I mean visit uh, like a festival and they come and they watch our dance also. So they make a stage and they do a competition. So I used to always win all in all those competitions. So I used to feel okay, I sh this is my life, I want this only. But then slowly slowly money started hitting me from behind. Okay. I, my, my mom, I mean we were going through bad things. So my mom said okay, now leave your thing and just start uh, leave this uh, stupid uh, games of dance and all. Just go and work, start working. 
study also work also study also work also. and i said what do i what do i work then i thought i have dance so i started slowly slowly i started myself involving in profession as a dance choreographer so uh, did your family think that uh, dance was your big ticket or did they want you to do something else see now also my family is <laughs> not very satisfied <laughs> because every family i mean i don't know it's here in singapore i don't know but in india people want uh, in those times moms used to want their child to be a engineer doctor or maybe a lawyer or so dancer is like a dancer so that things comes from mom but nowadays i mean now a days moms okay you're going into dance field good but mm-hmm. earlier in my when i was a uh, small i mean my my mom used to tell me dance what you will do in dance <laughs> what is dance there's no money in dance because that time there was no money in dance so slowly slowly you know i think that's not very different in singapore as well because in singapore also uh, a lot of parents go what is dance right really? Act, you want to be an actor are you sure <laughs> <laughs> go and be a doctor go uh, and be an engineer yeah. go and be a banker see if everybody yeah. will be a doctor who will be the patient <laughs> <laughs> so you know i think that that uh, there is something in common um, uh, with that in singapore as well yeah, so yeah, that yeah. brings me to my next universal question. Yeah. Uh, thinking of yeah, parents <laughs> exactly and your parents always want uh, uh. they they think they want the best for us right yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. but uh, brings me to my next question what what do you think about so you've seen the contestants uh that have come up from dance singapore dance you've been involved in dance india dance where uh, this all originated from uh what do you think about the contestants and um how committed do you think they are uh when it comes to dance see this is season 2 so in right. season 1 i got to know that the contestants were good they were uh, strong they were uh, happy mm-hmm. but all these words are there but now also three four words have added mm-hmm. and that is now they are more passionate more lively more um aggressive about their uh, winning of the show mm-hmm. they are more uh, what we say hungry okay. of the show and they are more uh, uh, ambitious about dance singapore dance mm-hmm. so i think this time i was so last year also they approached me for the same show season 1 yeah but i was doing some my dates was not there so i was i mean so i got busy mm-hmm. but i am so happy that finally i got chance to do this season and the dancers are coming in the show they are so passionate because in india dance is religion that's right they come they cry they bleed they if 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 we say that okay i mean you try next year they just cry like mad okay why why i missed this chance and they so we also i mean take care of that because some of the students they go and try to suicide mm-hmm. because we are not selected this year so it's that mad that maddening that passionate so i thought in singapore it will be okay okay mm-hmm. you're not selected okay no problem thank you but no yeah. when i started doing auditions people are really crying they really wanted to be the part of the show so i really felt okay you know what like you like me and like the person sitting on the camera they are hungry of money in the second part sec- secondary mm-hmm. but primary is appreciation so if i'm telling you you are superb what an interview take awesome you are you are genius <laughs> your day is made that's right then if i'll not say that and i'll make you okay eat chicken biryani tandoori everything you are hungry uh, you'll be in the night 9:30 you will again hungry <laughs> so i think that is the main um you know what we say main food of us yeah so that's why i got from singapore and i was so happy that students are hungry to be in the show and they are so dedicated and they are so passionate so i said oh me i also be i mean i'll also be very much uh, interested to judging them mm. yes, and you know um i saw a few of the auditions and something that caught my eye was that you had people from many different races like you said singapore is you know you've got people here from many different countries so you had mm. people who were filipinos that lived in singapore for a while people who were from australia yeah and a few of these that were not indian but they were training classical indian dance 
Yeah, How did yeah, that I make see. you uh, feel that? Yeah, you know, there was a there was a Japanese guy who was auditioning, and I was thinking, what is a Japanese guy? What's his name? I'm from Japan, and my family is from Japan. I stay in Singapore, so I said, okay, where? Uh, what performance you? He said, I'm doing uh, Katak. So I said Katak. <laughs> I said, yeah, yeah. I also don't know proper Katak. <laughs> As an Indian, I mean, I also don't know how to do proper Kathak dancing, and he performed like very good. So that touched me that people are exchanging the culture, sharing the culture, and just because of this wonderful show, which is called Dancing Boy Dance. Mm-hmm. That's fantastic. So you know, it, it all spun out from dance, India dance, but now there are so many different dance shows, shows. out there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, where do you say that the whole Dance in a Dance series and all the shoot-offs, Dance Singapore Dance and um, other shows. the other shows, what do you think is still so very special about the Dance India Dance series? Dance Singapore Dance, uh, Dance India Dance series and Dance Singapore Dance series and all these uh, reality show series, uh, whatever comes to the show, it's like uh, they, they always try to encourage dancers mm. make their name make them stand on the wo- in front of the world and okay, this is a good dancer this is a good dancer but show like dance india dance which is connected to dancing about dance mm-hmm. i would really say that it's the soul of our dancer because mm-hmm. wherever you see the other reality shows the people those who are there in other reality shows they were the contestant in dance india dance right either the contestant, also the judges, also sometimes the host. So you always witness those people got success from dance in the dance. Mm. So that is the root and these are the branches. I think, I feel that. Because uh, there are so many other uh, choreographers who are now so big, senior most than me. Mm. They were the part of dance India dance long back. So I think dance uh, India dance is is the is the root of uh, started the root of da- India uh, mm. dancing, which spread worldwide and they started other shows at Dance Singapore Dance, Dance India Dance North America, Dubai. So I think um, it's the soul, it's the root, mm. which we all dancers have shared and uh, you know with blood and sweat and made it. And no doubt the other shows are also doing well. But I'm telling you that the root, the make is the ID, dance right. in For you personally, uh, what do you think is the hallmark of, uh, what do you think is harder to choreograph? A group dance or an individual dance? Individual dance. For me, for a lot of people, group is very difficult. Mm-hmm. But I am, I was always very keen and yeah. uh, Specially specialized for group dancing. Okay. Always, and I had my group in India called Sharp Shooters. Okay. So they were one of the best hip hop dance crew in India those mm-hmm. times when I was just starting my career. So Sharp Shooters was my crew. So I, I used to always roam with my crew. So Salman saw my crew performing. Then only he, Salman sir, told me to. Okay. So I always feel like group is very easy for me and exciting for me. Mm-hmm. Solo is tough also because everybody is looking at you like this and you have to perform like 100 energy together group is like um, exciting entertaining little easy and um, what we say attractive right that's right yeah the reason i ask is because for dance singapore dance um it's all solo performances it's all solo performances so um who do you i'm not going to ask you to Name. Uh, name the winner. No, I'm going to ask you a name. <laughs> Not the winner. Uh, or, but who to you um, really stood out? Uh, Anyone comes to th- mind? So there are contestants who are coming out very well. Mm. But see, the show is a game. Mm. It's, it makes you like that. And because of too much confidence or maybe overconfidence or maybe excitement, it goes, makes you go down mm. also. So, in, uh, always in the reality show, always in DID also, the first half, the students who come up, they never win the show. Mm-hmm. The second half, they, the other people, oh, this guy is also good, yeah? Where was he? Where was he, where was he hiding? So, oh, the, 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 the winner. So, I think the first half, um, 
people are coming well they are doing nice but i'm not sure that they will be the winner so there are so many good dancers as sufri is one of the good dancer sherlin is one of the good dancer then um, Az uh, azam is one of the uh, classical kathak he did um, then uh, shivika very graceful performer so i don't know i mean if they maintain and they see it's not just like that it should be like a like a you know goes up like like a rocket right. so so if it is like that like a plane if it is going like that okay okay but if it is like that they will not win the show it should be like this so yeah. i hope <coughs> they are like now like that i hope it's not i mean you know i know what i mean i, I understand the sign yeah. the the seat belt sign off the plane like <laughs> Well, thank you, Master Muda, sir. Um, I don't want to take too much of your time. I know it's been a tiring flight. So this has been Z from Just Saying Asia with Master Muda Sir Khan. Catch Dance Singapore Dance every Sunday at 8 p.m. showing on Star Hub ZTV.